here we are, back on Soul Silver. I apologize that this game is not as farther along. I've been having to hardline play Heart Gold, so we're not as far along in Soul Silver. Welcome to the Pokemon Wireless Club Union Room. You may interact directly with many trainers here. Would you like to enter the room? I would. DS Wireless Communications will be lost. Will be launched. Will be lost. Nope. Yes, I am really early on in the game. I would like to save the game. See if I'll. Right, saving a lot of video. I literally just went to go nickname Onyx because it's finally going to have the nickname that makes sense with the what it's going to be. And it says that's saving a lot of data. I literally just took two steps. Well, not two steps, but like 40 feet there and back. Hope you enjoy your time in the union room. And same thing on the other DS. The reason I am using the recording on this DS instead of the other one is that you just show the going back and forth between, oh, here's equipping the item, here's back to thing when it's trading, wouldn't, wouldn't be possible. Because I only have the one DS, I can't record two things simultaneously where it's leaving the one DS and going into the other. I have to only have one be shown, unfortunately. Now we're waiting for Maxis to join us. There he is. Hey, looks like a school kid, that makes sense. Chris has contacted you, waiting response for Chris. Hello. This is Maxis. Is there something you want to do? I want to trade. Accept the trade offer. Trade will be started. Alright, let's trade. Sending over Chrome Dome, and sending over Flood. Did not mean to do that. Trade. One Flood for one Chrome Dome. Don't worry, Chrome Dome, you'll be coming back soon. Good care of Flood. Don't worry, she'll be well taken care of. What? Flood is evolving? Flood evolved into King. Well, technically, it's not my Flood, it's his Flood. Oh, really? We don't get the dex entry? Oh, that was a invention of the modern games. Okay, it's interesting. The metal coat has been given to Chrome Dome. Hello, Maxis contacted you. Waiting response from Maxis. I would like to trade. It's also good that I'd have two trades to do because it gets me to show both sides of this. Maxis offered to make a trade. Will you accept this offer? This offer, if you choose to accept it, will self-destruct in 10 seconds. Please, please tell me someone gets at least the, the series I'm referencing. Flood left us a little seahorse. It now returns to us a seahorse dragon. Take good care of Chrome Dome. We will. Chrome Dome is evolving. Chrome Dome evolved into Steelix. With the double evol with the evolution double feature now concluded, we can return to the beatdown of Team Rocket. Hopefully. Well actually we have one more side stop to make. 
Sorry, Leatherhead. You evolved. Well, actually, you weren't going to evolve anyway. You weren't going to evolve anyway for a while. Don't worry. Say hi to your buddy, Firestorm. I'll meet you guys back at the NPC I was talking about in Heart Gold. That kind of has the little thing that bugs me. Well, while we're back in Mahogany Town, I just realized that part of my recording kind of crapped out and just the file got corrupted. So I want to go over here and just to make sure it gets in the video. Talking to this guy, contains Sludge Bomb, not only does it damage the target, also poisons. This guy will say that he got chased away from his post by Team Rocket on Route 43 and that their hideout was destroyed. He will then tell you that he found a TM under the counter. That TM being TM36 Sludge Bomb. He'll then give you that TM, and this only happens after you have beaten Team Rocket in their hideout at Mahogany Town. I wanted to make sure to go over this just because this is a very good TM. If you have any kind of poison special attacker, I'd recommend giving it to them just because it's a great move. Though, unfortunately, the file that I had it in got corrupted, and I kind of had to backtrack here. And now we are back in Mahogany Wood with the NPC that annoys me and our newly evolved Flood. Flood's is wandering around. This guy. I don't want to upset you after buying one from me, but buying a Rage Candy Bar has nothing to do with whether I'd allow you to go past through here or not. Due to as many places to visit, such as the lighthouse, the, the lighthouse in Olivine and the pharmacy in Cianwood. Why don't you slow down and enjoy the sightseeing? This bugs me. You are very clearly supposed to battle Price after Jasmine and Chuck. From the levels of the Team Rocket grunts you battle in the Rocket HQ here in Mahogany Town, this guy's dialogue and the, I don't know, general land structure of the region where Ecrutique is a lot closer to Mahogany Town than Olivine and Cianwood kind of would make you think that this is where the fifth gym is supposed to be. And that's one thing that bothers me about this game. It seems like you're supposed to come here for your fifth gym battle, and then go you then you go fight Chuck and Jasmine. But you don't. Price is the seventh gym, and Chuck and Jasmine are fifth and sixth, respectively. This bothers me because Chuck is Chuck is a lower level than is lower leveled than Price, yes. But Jasmine is higher leveled with her Steelix than Price. This does bother me in a way of levels and also again the dialogue and the levels of the opponents you're going up against in each area, kind of suggesting you should have gone to Price for your fifth or maybe sixth gym battle. Yeah, it's, it's a little thing that bugs me, and in my opinion, the story would have flown a lot better had you gone to fight Price as your fifth or even sixth gym. It's, it's, it's a one little weird thing about this game that story progress, it, it feels strange. If, again, if you do, if you have Price as your fifth gym, it seems to flow a lot better. You have lower level Team Rocket Grunch going up against it. Maybe the lower levels of Team Rocket is supposed to show that they're kind of incompetent and don't have any idea what they're really doing. Maybe that was the point of it, but again, even here, you have to beat Price to get this far, and these guys are in the 20s, whereas Price is level 34 at highest of his Piloswine. Just, it's just strange with how the levels are in the game. I don't know if they were trying to make the levels go one way, but then decided to you know, for, say, a different story direction, you'll make the story a bit different than the original games, then decided, oh wait, we have to have the game progress the story-wise the same way, and then switch the way it is, because again, levels are very strange. Well, we've reached the uh, office of the guy up here. Uh, floor 5, Director's Office. Hopefully this guy will be able to tell us what's going on. And as I continue my little tirade. Ahem. <clears throat> Do you hear me? I am the director. We have decided to broadcast wonderful, broadcast wonderful shows to praise Team Rocket. Everyone, I don't want to hear you complain. Just do a good job, too. Yikes! I am busy up the... Who are you? Oh no, it's you again! Maxus! 
No, 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 I'm trying to be the director to influence the entire region to support Team Rocket. This time I won't hold back. Give me all you got. There we go, finally got the voice down. But yeah, it seems like story progress is meant to go one way from dialogue and levels, when the actual story direction is a different way. It's, it's just strange, that's really all I can say. Well, Flood's first battle as a Kingdra is against a boss. This should be quite fun. Even Petrell's team, who he's a boss, he's a Team Rocket executive, he's pretty low level comparatively. Again, Price was higher level. Weezing. Alright, Firestorm, you're up. Actually, probably should have gone to Lanayru, but eh, I can't change fast. His entire team is actually wheezing and coughing. I don't know, I just, I like this idea that his entire team is just one evolution line. And there's a, a, a couple of NPCs that do something similar, but I don't know why, just coughing and wheezing I like. I don't know if it's just because I like James wheezing and eventual coughing and eventual wheezing, or just, I like his character because his character is kind of goofy and I always imagine him with a weird voice. I, I always imagine him with kind of like a weird French voice, but I cannot do a French voice to save my life, so I decided not to. That is good experience. Coughing. Yeah, that's what I was just doing with my sore throat. <coughs> As if I'm cute. Lanayru, you're up. I, I think I might want to just have Lanayru sweep up the rest of these bad, the, the rest of this fight, just because I kind of want Lanayru to evolve and, well, continue on with some stuff. There we go, discharge. And smoke screen, of course. Accuracy hack, you're balanced now. Don't give a crap about any of this accuracy hack, whatever it is. I still think it is a valid strategy, and people who complain about it, they're kind of just complaining about nothing. Because again, kind of big setup. You guys can see. That crap would have been useful. How about here we go? Another coffin. If you have Pokemon with moves like an Aerial Ace or Swift, which I actually did just get on uh, Firestorm a while ago, uh, actually not a while ago, recently, they'll make a quick look at this and, aw, oh, sweet, paralyzed, come on, you get paralyzed, dang it. There are times I've paralyzed an opponent, and they have been paralyzed the turn that they got paralyzed, and oh, come on! Alright. I'm risking it. And it pays off. I have enough experience in this fight to get a level up. Uh, yes! Level 32. Lanayru wants to learn Signal Beam. I want this. I'm going to keep Charge and Thunder Wave because I want those moves for various purposes. I'm getting rid of Thunder Shock. Signal Beam is a bug type move, I believe 75 base power with a 10% chance of confusion. Not the most common move a lot of Pokemon learn. I kind of like it for that reason. Kind of a good move to have on Lanayru, just in case we find ourselves going up against any annoying ground types. You've earned yourself a little bit of a rest. Godzilla, you're up. Actually, yeah, actually Godzilla got some time here. I really wouldn't want to use Heracross just because I'd be using Aerial Ace, and Aerial Ace really isn't that strong. But they also don't have Guts, so I wouldn't get that benefit they poison me. Mm, rock Slide. Yeah, Rock Slide is stronger than just using Payback with double damage, where you have saved up attack. Uh, ow. Just ow. That's no damage. It is no damage. Critical. I was gonna say, if it crit, if it crit me and poison me, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like whenever a move that has a secondary effect gets a critical hit, the secondary effect has a double the odds of going off, so say a move has a 10% chance of causing a, condition, a status condition when used, it feels like whenever a critical hit happens, it's a 20% chance of that happening. I don't know if it's just me or if that actually is what happens, but more often than not, when I get a critical hit, a secondary effect of a move triggers, whether it's, say, Agent Power giving me all stats up, or a move flinching or something, I don't know. What? Why am I losing? Uh, me because you're going up against me. Headbutt. Yeah, head actually, Headbutt is stronger than Aerial Ace, and... 
Yeah, that's the thing about coughing I talked about a while back. It's tanky. It, you really wouldn't expect it to be, and it is in the wow. Double flinches. Wait, are you serious? That's actually kind of a perfect line to come after just getting two flinches in a row, because the flinch hacks are real. Actually, wait. This is the generation where flinch chances do suck. Okay, okay, I'll tell you where it is. So he's going to tell us where the real director is, and after Lanayru evolves. So this isn't just a double feature, this is a triple feature evolution special. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Your Lanayru evolved into Flaffy. Listen carefully. We staffed the real director in the underground warehouse. It's all on the far end of the Golden Rock Tunnel. I'm a nice guy, I'll give you the basement key to get to the underground warehouse. Thank you for gratitude. We obtained the basement key. Did you get in his pocket? We staffed, we staffed the director in the underground warehouse. So the far end. Okay, he's just saying the same thing. Well, I doubt a child like you will ever get that far. He does have some different lines. Alright, and hey, we can see a certain red haired individual lady. Now, the right-handed individual guy, because we just encountered him a while ago. Well, I am going to go heal up. Mostly because we are poisoned and... Pride. Most excellent! This radio tower is full of grand design. I'll get back to you guys after this fight and after I've healed up. And on the subject of TMs, I actually have finally reached a conclusion on what I want to do with my TM dig. I went back and forth with myself about this a lot, and ultimately decided I want to give this to Megalon. While fighting some of the other Team Rocket goons in the tower, I came across a particularly annoying number of muck, and thought, I really just want to move that can super effective damage them, and I already thought about giving Dig to Megalon, as it makes sense with what it is in the Godzilla series, and that fight was kind of just the tipping point where I decided, alright, I need to teach this to it. Because there was one other Pokemon I was thinking about teaching it to, which was Godzilla, because ground type same of attack bonus. But I ultimately remembered I'm going to just override it with Earthquake anyway, so I might as well use this now. I probably should have taught Megalon Earthquake a lot sooner, and I do kind of regret doing that now, but that has been rectified. Now we can continue on. Yeah, it's another one of these ladies. Team Rocket members in black suits have been running around. I was wondering what was going on. So, you took on Team Rocket? You are impressive. You may be able to face the legendary Pocket. Haha, <laughs> never mind. I must go now. And then she leaves. So, Megalon now has Earth... Now has... Uh, not Earthquake, but Dig. I was thinking about teaching Megalon Earthquake after we get that TM, which we will be getting, though not for a while. Both me decided I don't really think I want to have Earthquake on this, because I probably will just teach her to switch something else. Unfortunately, we don't have the awesome Team Rocket Takeover music. We have the boring uh, dungeon exploring theme. So I decided, eh, we might as well just turn on the Team Rocket Takeover music for the, for a little while. However, before we continue on, hold it. What I told you before was to was to deceive you. I thought it would let me tail you. No, you tail you, and then you would leave me no lance. Well, he never showed up. So basically, you told us to go screw off and go take on Team Rocket, and then tried to follow us, hoping we would lead you to lance. I mean, not a bad plan. No matter. I was planning to beat you after lance, but as you're here, I will repay my debts. Surprise rival battle. Yep. I like how this guy just shows up in the odd scenario, and I'm glad that this is the one time I actually am prepared. And even when I'm prepared, he has a type advantage over me. Lanayru, go! Alright, he's starting off with his goal, bad, which, oof, that would have been bad news. That would have been very, very bad news. Discharge and crap. The Golbat is fast and annoying. One thing I like about it. Come on, don't get confused, don't get confused. Dang it! And then we don't really have much of an attack stat, and we are bulky, so don't get too much damage. And fight. 
So you're trying to... <laughs> uh, you get paralyzed. So you're trying to confuse us, then hit us with flinches. And we flinch, of course. Yeah, but now we're faster than you, so you can't flinch us anymore. Now, you get shocked. That's a quite shocking turn of events. There we go, Lanero. Fortunately, you don't get the whole amount of experience because you got split. And Fralligator. Oh, boy. I am not really prepared for that. Uh, Lanero, uh, you can handle this. Fralligator is... The first, it's one of the starters that actually, I believe it is the earliest evolving starter. I believe if you choose any of the other Pokemon, they will be evolved, but they'll be level 32. Again, it goes back to the whole thing about our levels being kind of arbitrary because Meganium and Typhlosion do not evolve at those levels. To my nod, I think they don't evolve at that point. Ooh, crunch. That bad. And <laughs> paralyzed again. Nice. That was confusion? Yes! Lanero doing the damage. I am kind of, yep. I was kind of expecting Fralligator to hang on, because Fralligator does have really good stats, and it is a fully leveled Pokemon when we are not. And Fralligator goes down. Come on. Ah, oh, so close. Sneasel. That is a Pokemon we're not going to be seeing for a while. Actually, I want you to be out here right now just because I want to get enough experience to get you evolved. And... Eh. Mm, let's see. Actually, yeah. Godzilla, you're going out. Time to rock their world, as one would say. Just don't use it. Okay. Alright, yes. Yeah, so I, I don't think Sneasel gets any ice moves until pretty late. Rock slide. Fain attack. Bad. Time for some rock and roll. What? Oh, screw off! Oh, come on! That is just mean! Alright. That is mean. Alright. Alright. Firestorm, you're out. You're probably gonna use faint attack, and that is gonna KO me, because I know that's a move that does not miss. Yep. You did not want to risk that. Yeah, Sneasel is fast. It also has a really good physical attack stat. Yeah, look, we are the same level as it. It's up beating us. Oh no, actually it's one level higher than us. And... Yikes. Sorry, Firestorm. Alright, probably should have done this in the beginning. Megalon. Overkill time. I'm assuming Fane has probably its strongest move because it's not using anything else. I know Sneasel at this point doesn't get Ice Punch, which... Sneasel with Ice Punch. Terrifying how much damage that thing does. Sneasel is down. So close. And Lanero is now level 33. Magnemite. That is what I would have wanted to have Firestorm for, but unfortunately, plans got changed. Megalon, uh, you still have to keep going? I'm gonna get Mag Megalon had the ability to shoot lightning, so yeah, it wouldn't make it's, it's, Actually, it's a perfect opportunity for us to test out our new dig. So do as you do best and burrow. Times four, super effective. Yeah, Magnemite's kind of bulky, at least, well, Magneton and Magnezone are, but Magnemite, not really. Level up. That stats are so great in Haunter. Interesting. Well, time to make it like it's Morty's Gym all over again and have our resident little white fluffy bird take it down. Hey, hey, we're so serious. So, we're gonna be the Joker now. Hey. Again, I do think confusion is a legitimate tactic in battles. There's some of the more recent, the zone now that kind of nerfed into the ground where it's like what? Not even 50% odds of hitting yourself, it's like 25. 
curse. Interesting. Not exactly the best strategy, but... <laughs> That's out of confusion. I don't know if we would have KO'd at full HP, but that curse definitely made it possible. And <laughs> it's a critical hit at insult to injury. That was a good fight. Defeated rival Edwin. Why? Why do I lose? I've assembled the toughest Pokemon. Why do I lose? Well, I mean, there's a couple of those Pokemon that still have a few stages of evolution to go through. Wait, what? Planner is evolving. I said, like, I'm surprised I'm not. They grow up so fast. Glamour has evolved into Ampharos. I don't understand. Is what Lance... Is what, is what that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat my Pokemon properly? Love. Trust. Are they what I really lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I... I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I don't get my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Well, he has a goal and he's pursuing it. We kind of got a bit wrecked by his team, so I think it's time... Well, actually, I think we should go heal up. Meet you guys back down into the tunnels when we are fully healed.